Hi, Poo Poo's. Nessa Poo Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Tribe. So this is a March love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me or you can always check out your Moon, Rising, or your Venus sign. Okay? Let's go ahead and get into it. Universe spirits and guides, what is going on for Scorpio for the month of March So we have unfinished symphony. So you guys have unfinished business with somebody. But then at the same time, we have time to go. A change in the wind. So something took a change um, in your love life. Um, some of you guys, they are telling you that you need to walk away. You need to take some type of break from this person. There needs to be some type of change um, between you and this person before you guys decide to come back towards each other give each other a chance or however you want it to be tell me more for scorpio some rising and venus Let's go. We have victory and success. Memories of love. Yeah, some of you guys need to take some type of break from a person. Yeah, positive movement forward. Base chakra. Movement choices and decisions. So you have a decision to make when it comes to somebody. And it's going to take you some courage. Some of you guys are definitely discontent in the um, situation. And it's time for you guys to move on from this situation. But you have a, uh, you need to look at something from a different perspective. Because I feel like if you don't stand your ground and actually put yourself first with this Nine of Cups. Then you will definitely be having um, an emotional loss here. So I feel like. There's a person that you need to move away from. Um, and just because you have unfinished business with this person does not mean that you have to go back towards them. Or at least for the month of March, okay? You need to see things from a different perspective. And get yourself unstuck from this situation. It's definitely going to cause you to have some type of courage. And get yourself unstuck from this. Because there could be a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. Or fighting within yourself should you do this. And you need to stop it. And they're telling you to. Yeah, you're going to get clarity. You guys like, you need to, I just heard, look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Because somebody is making you feel anxiety. They're making you feel um, wounded, like a wounded warrior. And they just keep being the same old cycle. They're telling you guys to walk away. Yeah, I'm going to let that come out. Because it's only leading to heartbreak with the Three of Swords. These cars are so slippery. Tell me to stop. Yeah. Here's her energy because it's definitely leading to a tower moment. If you if you do not listen, 
Yeah, I know you have a soulmate uh, tied with this person, and this person is really attractive to you, but is this person giving you the equal give and take? Some of you guys could definitely be married to this person or you have a family with this person, and it's only leading to conflict, though. This person, there's some toxic um, patterns that's going on here, and it's, it could be that this cycle is slow to end, but it definitely needs to end. Yeah, I see a match here, so this could definitely... It could also be a third party because I see two queens here and one king. Um, with the six of wands there, I think it would definitely, yeah, some of you guys live with this person or, um, you're married to this person. This is your twin flame, but there are some things that you're not seeing that you need to see. There's love here. Yes, there's love here. There's true commitment here, but I think you guys need to take a break, at least for right now. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Definitely. Okay, so there definitely could be a third party going on. I'm just saying, yeah, you need to look at things from a different perspective. Heal yourself before you fight for this again. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, Aquarius, or Aries. Before you actually go ahead and take that leap of faith, because there are some things that you're not seeing. You're going to be left out in the cold. You need to leave this out in the cold right now. Take more control. Some of you guys need to go to go to a distance and take more control of this and actually leave this out in the cold for right now. Passion. Heart to heart conversations. That was just a lot of cards that flipped over. have trust there's definitely trust issues that's going on right now between you and this person finances and careers some of you guys need to focus on your finances right now yeah with material harvest tell me more please Some of you guys definitely, or well, this person is definitely married. Message of concern. Some of you guys could have got a message of some sort. Or you will. Great fortune. Luck is on your side, but yeah. It's only going to put you in a bad place if you keep working on this. Give me one more. Okay. Give me two. Yeah. You need to put an end to it with coffin. Change came out in reverse, so. There's not going to be a change right now. There's not going to be a change. Please do not get mad at me, but this is what the cards are saying. So please give me some advice for Scorpio. Thank you. Expect powerful change, new moon. And then we have quarter, first quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. So there are some things that need to be changed. There is some tests that's going on. Um, it's up to your partner and you to see if you're going to um, pass this test. But what I feel right now in the month of March, there's not going to be a change. And I feel like you do need to take time out from this person. Okay. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <clears throat> um, if you like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Uh, my Instagram is also in, in the description box as well. Please go over there and hit that follow button, follow button for me. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I definitely love you guys and hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll be back. To, back. I'll be back. <laughs> Just sounded like another, another accent. I'll be back for you guys. You guys will get it. Um, everybody's getting another bonus once I put out all the readings. Okay, so I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, peoples.